let's get stuck in. And what better way than with the programmer's best friend, the Hello World application. Start by opening a terminal. Its current working directory will be your home directory. It's probably a good idea to make a directory for the files we'll be creating for this tutorial, rather than having them loose in your home directory. You can create a directory called Python using the command make directory Python. You'll then want to change into that directory using the command cd python. The next step is to create an empty file using the command touch followed by the file name. The final and most important part of setting up the file is to making it executable. This allows us to run code inside the hello world.python file. We do this with the command change mode plus x hello world dot python now that we have our file set up we can go ahead and open it up in nano or any text editor of your choice gedit is a great editor with syntax highlighting support that should be available on any distribution our hello world program is very simple it only needs two lines the first line begins with the shebang also known as a hash bank, followed by the path to the Python interpreter. The program loader uses this line to work out what the rest of the lines need to be interpreted with. If you're running this in an IDE, like idle, you don't necessarily need to do this. The code that is actually read by Python interpreter is only a single line. We are passing the value hello world to the print function by placing it in the brackets immediately after we've called the print function. Hello world is enclosed in quotation marks to indicate that it is a literal value and should not be interpreted as source code. As expected, the print function in Python prints any value that gets passed to it from the console. You can save the changes you've just made to the file in nano using the key combination control o followed by enter. Use Control X to exit Nano. You can run the Hello World program by prefixing its file name with dot forward slash. In this case, you type dot forward slash hello world dot python. 